That's what I'm talking about? Cat football? We should be doing an interview with the War Minister, or a report from Grentham Downs. Even the weather would be more fucking relevant than this. Jeremy, please, just breathe. It's just something like to keep people's minds off things. Exactly, which is wrong. People's minds should be very much on things. Christ, it's so fucking hot! Please take your seats as quickly as you can. I can't do this anymore, Jenny. I've had enough. That's it. This is just Ten seconds! Get over yourself, Jeremy. Why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself for five fucking... Five, four, three... Welcome back to, to the National Nightly News with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. Later... We'll be talking to the captain of the territory's first cat football team, Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behaviours. Joining me is a woman who's been hiccuping for over nine months. Isn't that right, Miss Piercy? Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Yes. Tell us, what brought all this on? Well, it's all a bit of a blur, Jeremy, to be totally frank with you. So I was watching your show and I remember seeing the news about the election and it, 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 it hasn't stopped since. Fascinating stuff. Also here is Frankie Steampipe. Um, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. We're constantly overlooked in the workplace, we're whispered about on buses, and we're asked politely to leave children's birthday parties. And it's disgusting. <laughs> I, uh... I'm sorry, my bowels have comic timing. And finally, I'm joined by a man who answers every question honestly, even when it isn't aimed at him. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. Is that right? Not according to my therapist. <laughs> well, in that case, um, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shushed a lot, which is hard. <coughs> hard. At work, they've asked me to, uh, to stop answering the phones. It's really affected my confidence. Well, I find it really fucking irritating. Do people tend to believe your story? Fuck no. Actually, I've been surprised at how much support I've received. <laughs> <laughs> and Frankie, um, why have you come here today? Because my wife left me and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've started a group for people with ailments deemed broadly comical by society. It's called Take Us Seriously. That's right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of fucking losers. It's just us, so far. <laughs> and how much success have you had? Well, we've seen some real uh, positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been a runaway success. Shit all. Not a single person come to our fun run, and all of our leaflets fell in the canal. Huh. Well, Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shocking events of that night. What do you think? Come down, Mr Donaldson. That's absolute rubbish. <laughs> what would it be like to have a pair of tits? <laughs> Could you? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's very hot. What was I thinking? I think you're a team fuck puppet. No. Or a sellout cunt. <laughs> Apologies. Just reminded that he can't help it. And hey, if this isn't live television, then what is it? A fuck fest of propaganda masquerading as journalism. <laughs> <laughs> right, Frankie Rose, tell us. How can the viewers get involved with your cause? Yes, we're holding a, a sponsored run in um, Capital <laughs> the Park uh, next weekend. It's called the No Smiles 13 Miles. No, it's called the No Laugh Half. What did I say before the show? That it was the team pulling Jeremy Donaldson's strings. No, I, I didn't say <laughs> Well, didn't we say may have to end that there, unfortunately. What a harmless bit of fun. <laughs> Steady what? on! This is exactly what I'm talking about. We demand respect. <laughs> ah, yes, well, later... I'll be talking to <laughs> Professor Pumpkin, a ginger tabby with a world-class <laughs> pair of penalty paws. Is that really necessary? No, it isn't. Let go. <laughs> Not you. Unhand him at once. It's it's oh, enough. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying not to piss myself. Alex, cut. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare cut to the ass before I tell you to. Now, you in the broadcast centre. Bozeman's little scapegoat. You listen to me. You cut the ads before I tell you to, and I will kill every single person in this studio. Jeremy, think about <laughs> I am thinking about what I'm doing. I've been thinking about it for a long time. We all should be. Christ, it's so 
fucking hot in here. Do you remember when we used to do the real news? Before it was all lottery winners and bloody cat football. We are on the brinks of a siege, the likes of which the world hasn't seen in hundreds of years. The enemy is at the gates and I'm stuck here talking to these three fucking idiots. I think my hiccups have stopped. You three, get the fuck out of my studio. Go on, now, go, before I change my mind. Jenny, lock the doors. Lock the doors. Yes, Jeremy. Now. Good. Yes. Now. Right then. You in the broadcast centre. Alex, you listen to me. You pay attention. Now, I'm sure you've already loaded up exactly what you're going to play in the commercial, but today is going to be a little bit different. Look to your right. Yes, really. Look to your right. There is a VHS tape and I want you to load it into one of the machines and when I say so, and not before, you play it. You've got about 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Now, all cameras, all of you, on me. When we come back, we're going to do the fucking news. And because every single thing that comes out of this studio is either one-sided or banal, we're going to show the other side for a bit. For a bit of fucking balance. Like the good old days. Alex, play the fucking tape. Now, I don't want to hurt any of you. If I see anything I don't like, I will not hesitate to start by killing this man. Now, reset the system for the third segment. I imagine the ratings are going to be through the roof. <laughs>